I believe some congratulations are in order. <laughs> After all, my plan worked even more perfectly than expected. Well? Uh, way to go, dude? Don't mention it. I'm just doing my job. Uh. Now that I know where the Tyranoids are coming from, I can put a stop to this alien menace once and for all. With utter disregard for my own safety, I've drawn up an ingenious plan for an attack on Tyrannosis. All right, time for another quirk art. I shall humbly step aside, allowing Ratchet to free fall down and take out the mortar launchers at the landing site. Once the mortars have been silenced, the dropship will make its descent. Next, Ratchet will take the assault vehicle from the dropship, make his way to the four plasma cannon turrets, and destroy them. Once the turrets have been knocked out, Ratchet will personally lead the assault on the main enemy base. All right, let's get to it. Yes, you there in the front. Uh, yeah, hi. I was just wondering, what are the rest of you going to be doing while I'm down there getting blasted? We'll be monitoring the situation closely from here. Actually, we'll be down at the lunch buffet on deck five. It's meatloaf day. But we'll be rooting for you every step of the way. Yeah, ma'am, we got your back. <laughs> the plan is excellent. <laughs> All right. So, Planet Tyrannosis. Right. So, I believe we are at the quarter point of the game, or like the good third point of the game. A new suit of armor Ooh. is available at the Gadgetron Armor Vendor. Ratchet, that yeah, I know the new armor is made out of adamantium. Just give me my armor. Wow, it is a good thing I did not buy my gun. Because I would not have had enough bolts to buy it. Right. And next up, Tyrannosis. I want to see how far I can get in this game with the suck cannon before it stops being viable. I want to see how far I can get with the suck cannon in this game. Alright, see ya, Kay. One hour. Have a good night and have a happy new year, future man. Yeah, I love how Quark announced that right after I changed my armor, too. That was actually perfect timing, because those are randomized in the game. Oh, Kay didn't even know you were here, Mystic. Do not kill my ammo. Do not kill my- You assholes killed my ammo! It's like I get no job. Oh, it's lost in the tide. Aether says lost in the tides of the tabs. Oh. 
like too many tabs. That is good. Now I can shit both of these. And that's all we want to do to end off 2018. Wait, and time for Here car. <laughs> My shit post. Nice work, Ratchet. I'm coming in on the dropship now. To access your world map, press... All right, fun time. Ooh, the Annihilator. This is actually a good weapon to have, so I'll uh, get that weapon too, probably, maybe. Because I don't think I get another piece of armor for a little while. You seem to be implying that they're going to make a Sly 5. Because I don't... Because Sly 4, unfortunately, did abysmally bad in sales. Like, really bad. Because Sony never even advertised it. I almost killed Scrunch the monkey. Somebody set off a firework outside. Also, uh, Aether? Yeah, Sly, Sly 4 sold really badly. Like, really badly. I didn't even know... Personally, I didn't even know the month it was coming out until I ended up um, realizing it later. Yep, they're setting off fireworks. I don't want fireworks because they bleed into the mic. Alright, that's one thing done. I think it's the people are up the street that are setting off the fireworks. Dang it. Oh, my cat's inside. car around the bend. There we go. I know there was a reverse, but I didn't want to use it. And we'll get the ones that are over here that are the farthest, and then we'll get the two that are close by. Drift to win! <laughs> I love how it just hit me out of the car. Right, and... Bada boom! Give me the titanium bolt. I think with this one I have enough to buy a skin if I so wanted to. That sounds so wrong in hindsight. It's like, I'm gonna buy a skin. Like, I'm going to skin this thing and wear it. Go, baby! Get 
Here you go. Welcome back. I I was talking about how I can buy skins and how wrong that sounds. We just, we just gotta murder late. Just just kill the person and then wear their skin. Pumpkin being bad. Pumpkin just wants the treat. You're coming in kind of low, by the way. Sorry, it's because my mic's not so close. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, 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 I couldn't understand. I said, but pumpkin is not allowed to have meat. Or cheese, or salad, or salsa. Oh, but those are the fun foods. It's my fun food. If you keep doing this, I'm kicking both of you out of the room. What do whip it do? <laughs> I need to be fair with the kids. <laughs> I was about to say, what did whip it do? Whippet is staring at the food too. Okay, Whippet's like, like that uh, dog with the cupcakes meme. Yeah. And there we go. Good news! The suck cannon almost is at peak capacity and efficiency. Half of one more level and it shall be good. Okay. Okay. There are bad enemies there. They hurt me. They hurt me bad. You know what? I haven't had this much fun playing a Ratchet and Clank game in a long time because I'm usually just so overpowered that I just go through everything. Yeah. But I'm legitimately having a lot of fun. Like, because I'm almost going to die a lot of the time because I'm being way too ballsy. Okay, nope. Not dealing with that. Don't you dare. With you. And I know that, like, because I remember when Luca was. Pl I know that a lot of people don't like it when you're overpowered. I just love the feeling of being overpowered, is why I grind so much in my games. But I, I do know that people, like, when you're watching it, they don't like it too often. Because I remember when Luca was doing the Mario and Luigi series, everyone was giving her grief because they were saying she was overpowered. Poor weapon. <laughs> Suffers because of pumpkin. I've decided to be fair to Whippet. She's still there. <laughs> okay, I was about to say. Don't be mean to Whippet. As long as she's staying right there, she can stay. But if she moves any closer to the, to the desk, She's getting out with the other one. And now he's mirroring at the door. 
Wait, Mama, I'm sorry. No, no tacos for you. Time to finish the job, Ratchet. Get moving. Right, time to take on the Tyranoid boss. The Tyranoid mother. And basically cause an entire species to go extinct. Sure. 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 <laughs> right, and the mother tyranoid. Okay, okay. That is not okay. You're getting way too close. Too close. Stranger danger. Stranger danger! Alright, there we go. Time for the cinematic approach. Ratchet looks so hilarious just running with that. Right. Uh, I hate this, like, view through there because it's like... It does not look good. Okay, come on. Come on. You gotta just get full second so ammo. Almost full. You. That sh should be enough to kill her. This thing is big and fast, and I don't know how I feel about that. And I got the Mega Suck Cannon! you made another miraculous comeback. Now you've defeated the Tyranoids in a spectacular battle on their own planet. How do you explain your recent success? Courage, compassion, dashing good looks, iron hard abs! Seriously though, to be a true hero of heroes, you need more than loads of charisma and a brilliant tactical mind. I couldn't have done it without these massive guns! Mwah, mwah. Glad to see you made it through in one piece, Ratchet. You must have quite a story to tell. Why don't you come back to the Phoenix and fill us in? I now have the Vortex Cannon. I have the Mega Suck Cannon. Hollow Shield Glove. This one... No. Yeah. Right, let's go back to the Starship Phoenix and do our next mission. I love how that that Tyranoid dropship just like clipped right through me. Right, vortex cannon. So I got to start getting the this thing up. Whoa, whoops! No, I gotta go to my 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 ship. My ship that's only for cosmetic purposes of getting from planet to planet because of the fact that I don't have ship battles in this game, except for in uh, on planet, which kind of sucks. I mean, my ship has a nuke on it. Let me use it. Yes, let me nuke the planets, please. I can do it better than Fallout 76. Is it a nuke like in, in Sporn? <laughs> no, nah, it, it's basically a screen nuke. It was the biggest tyranoid you've ever seen. You know seen. which nuke I'm talking about. <laughs> biggest star cruiser and yeah. packing twice as much fire. The planet fire. buster. There was no escape. He was coming right at me. Closer, closer. Oh, what am I gonna do, right? Closer, even closer. Click, click. My blaster jam. <laughs> no way. 
What happened next? Yes, go on. We're all riveted. So, this is the mighty Q horse I've heard so much about. Pathetic! I could obliterate a lot of you, and they wouldn't even mention it in Supervillain Weekly. True, sir, but you have done the fashion world an enormous service. And as for you, Agent Clank, I have far grander plans for you. <laughs> All right, Lawrence, you can turn it off now. Oh, may I, sir? What a treat. Al, come in! <laughs> Bless you. Someone just transmitted a hologram onto the ship. I Took need your wife to for know this one to where come. the signal came <laughs> from. Let's see. Back tracing the signal. Hmm. Six pass alpha key encryption. Amateurs. I got it. It came from a facility on planet Dax. He's not coming. Their computer files. When is that? Aha! I found something suspicious. <laughs> Matching it through now. Tonight, we take a journey inside the enigmatic mind of our galaxy's foremost evil genius, Dr. Nefarious. We'll take a tour of this secret facility on planet Dax, home to some of the galaxy's most insidious super weapons, including the dreaded rainbow Afrolyzer. Dr. Nefarious, we've all enjoyed your past work, but how do you respond to critics who say your latest galactic schemes are just more of the same? I will annihilate them! Lawrence, tell us a bit about this top secret super weapon being constructed on planet Dax. Well, super is such a strong word. For that matter, weapon may be a tad overdoing it. We do, however, have a lovely view of the ocean at sunset. Is Dr. Nefarious poised on the brink of galactic domination? Or is this super weapon just the latest in a series of maniacal pipe dreams? Stay tuned for more from Supervillain Weekly! Whatever Nefarious is doing on Dax, it can't be good. We'll check it out. You're welcome! Alright. Now we gotta go to planet Dax, but first... once again hmm? actually we were hoping we could just pick up the gadgets and split we have a spaceship to catch ha! you slackers are always looking for the easy way out when you can pass the course you can have the device all right time to get my vr gadget Those training platforms can be activated with the hypershot the green object is a hypershot target press and that hacker is you all right now if I remember correctly the hacker mini game is whoops all right so that these just eat up time and I don't like that there's a skill point for doing this in a certain amount of time I think it's like 45 seconds It's meant to be done when you, uh, I've already completed the course once, because then you don't have to do the hacker minigames again. I hate the hacker minigames because they just get longer over time and they get more and more annoying. I fell to my death. Okay. The green object is a hypershot target. Press and one, two, three, four. Keep going, you can be a run like a girl. Go. Faster. Wait, hacker mini game. At least this isn't the infiltrator. I hate that this game is all based on RNG of when they give you the stupid thing. The thing you need to continue. One, two, three. I'm gonna hate it because I'm gonna like... Because I'm... I'm trying so hard to do this before 
uh, midnight, and I'm probably gonna get stuck at the final boss, and then it's gonna be midnight right at the final boss. I'm gonna be sad. Because that, it's like when I was speedrunning Ape Escape 3 last time, it's like, I wanna beat this game in like three hours. I almost did. I was at the final boss, but I lost once, and it resulted in me, um, just like being unable to continue. That was so sad. Three. Okay, I guess. Right. Get this one. Yes, I know. I collect the green code, and I end up destroying the red code. Right. There we go. That's one level... Three, no, no, and level two, now onto level three. You know, as a kid, I always hoped that, like, if you did this, uh, thing fast enough that you'd end up, um, she would compliment you, but it never happens. Maybe you'd like to meet Helga on the wrestling mat, hmm? We'll see how cocky you are, twisted up like a wet noodle. Uh, maybe next time. Pansies! Alright. Try customizing your quick select in the to access your secondary. Right. Do I have more armor? I shouldn't, because I just bought this. No. All right. Good. Because we were gonna have problems if we did, if we got more armor. Because I can't afford it. Let us head on over to Planet Dax. I'm so hungry. But I don't want to take a break because I'm on the clock. facility has two high security computer terminals. My information indicates that one of them is somewhere out in the island. The other one is inside the main building. Right. And uh, we don't have anything else. So and 13 